Pituitary Tour Adventure Sunday, June 27th 8.35 a.m. After about an hour again, like always, I woke up sore throat it was like scratching so I tried to drink warm lemon water sparkling lemon flavored sparkling water warm soothing it voice like had to put gum in my mouth because the taste got so bad Still, it's funny, when I wake up, I am confused and I, I think I slept for hours. I don't even realize what's going on, like... I woke up and then I could sleep some more, but then I can't... I wish I could wake up, sleep more, wake up, sleep more. I can, now I can do it once. So like, I wake up, sleep more, but then next time I wake up, it's, I get too nauseous, too sick, and I need to pee. I drink so much, I pee so much. I'm worried, I, I don't hold any electrolytes, I pee everything out. To get a taste. I'm preparing a hot water bottle for me because this here. This here really is so not really special. It hurts so tense, it's like. I think I need to like Paul tried to loosen it up every day all the time. It's like I feel like it's cramped up and maybe hot water bottle. It's loud. Um, I'm really worried about Paul. Oh, now I actually figured it out. It's, of course, rotator cuff. I think it's actually coming from here. This is actually my bad shoulder, so. Ooh, I found it. Let me make the water bottle and maybe I can turn it off.
I'm very, very worried about Paul. I heard him this morning around like five or so getting up again and again and um, asking if he's all right. He said he's, he's having a lot of gas and reflux and I don't know if also diarrhea or so, but He's not doing well, and on point I could bring him some hot chaga tea. I was worried when I woke up. I saw that he tried to call me, hold him back right away, but he threw me out. So I'm like, shit. I texted him and I'm worried and he texted he's ty tired and I think th two thumbs up so he's okay but I mean he's not okay I'm worried I mean he's He is he's like the same age like my mom and my dad. He's, he's not like super old, but he's like in his 60s, late 60s. Um, and he takes care of me. He he has like three jobs. He he has two bad knees. I should be the reverse. I'm the younger one. And I can't take care of him. I still want to know why he called me. He tried to call me exactly when I was asleep. I'm like never asleep, but then I am. Waking up is always so hard. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad I can... I can more or less take care of myself. Well, I mean, like... Here I can, I, I could even make that myself. The pan was a bit heavy, but I'm not in like excruciating pain. So it's, it's okay, I don't need Paul to like take care of me like every second. Still, like I can't go for a walk by myself. I just um, I'm worried about him. I have a problem, anyways, when others are sick or like when he is sick I just um it's just like always been the way that I'm the sick one I need help and when he's sick it's just I almost, I almost get mad. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's not his fault, but I get like mad because I don't want him to be sick. That's not it's like my job. That's not you. You can't be sick. That's 
I don't know how to deal with that. You're the strong one. You're... And it's not that I don't want to help others or take care or something, but I can't. It's like, like, really, I get like mad. Well, not like at him, but like at the... It's just wrong. Yes, it's like it's wrong. Of course, in a way, I, I wish I could help, I wish I could do something. Uh, I think this is helping, but I, I need to, I need to rest my arm, I need to go back to bed. Okay, yeah. Every time, it's kind of stabilizing, or like, okay, that's slowly getting better, or something else happens. Or every time I think it can't get worse, it gets worse. Or... Okay, I think yeah, throw it just now. I'm so tired. It takes me a while to um wake up, like I should probably just try to get some more sleep. No, my throat is still scratchy and oh, it's so annoying. I hope you can actually understand me. It's hard for me to talk. Things very heavy. Okay. 